Hello, this is James with Lot Hill. Today I'm going to show you how to manually create the cash footprint point of sale database. The reasons to do this would be if you are looking to add a database to an online server, such as a server through GoDaddy or something like that, um, or if you're running into an issue when you're first starting cash footprint, getting a message that's saying unable to create database. That's a Windows permission issue that is restricting cash footprint from automatically creating the database on its own. So this is the, the procedure that you would go through to create the database manually in either of those scenarios. First thing you're going to do is go to your Windows Start menu, go to All Programs or All Apps if you're using Windows 10, scroll down and find Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2. If you installed Microsoft Server 2014 or 12, you can do that too. Simply expand that folder and then find the SQL Server Management Studio. Go ahead and click on that. It's going to bring up the SQL Server software. You'll click the drop down and browse for more. That will allow you to select your particular server that you have installed on your machine. And you're going to see your computer name slash cache footprint if you followed the videos. Otherwise, you might see slash SQL Express. But the first part of it here is going to be your computer name. And you can find that out by going down to the Start menu, go to Control Panel, and System. And that will have your computer name listed right there. So in my case, it's James W7PC. And there it is, James W7PC slash Cache Footprint. So I'll select that and hit OK. This is the server instance. Okay, simply use the Windows Authentication, click Connect, and now you're connected to your server. If you have a GoDaddy server, um, you're going to see something like this. You're going to want to use SQL Server Authentication. You're going to put in the um, IP address or uh, friendly URL for that particular server. Put in your credentials, your GoDaddy credentials. Make sure it's SQL Server Authentication. Put in your GoDaddy credentials and then hit Connect it's going to bring up this particular piece here. And for GoDaddy or remote systems, you're going to need to create the database first, and then you can use the following technique to populate that database with required objects. So getting back to just a normal create database error message, so far this is what we've got. You connect to your local computer and the cache footprint instance, now we're going to right click on databases, select new database. For the database name, go ahead and type in cache footprint. And for my purposes, I'm just going to put in demo at the end. So I'm creating my database name and click OK. I want you to just put in cache footprint. Okay, so database name, cache footprint. Click OK. And that will then create the database. There is my database. You will probably see just simply cache footprint. Now that the database is created, let's go ahead and close the SQL Server Management Studio. Now we're going to deploy the objects to that particular database. So click the Start menu. Go to All Programs or All Apps find a cache footprint point of sale and then click on the database setup wizard when this wizard comes up you'll be able to select your local database so in my case it's James W7PC that's my computer slash cache footprint that's my server instance and I'm going to use Windows authentication um, but if you're, again, connecting to GoDaddy or something like that, type in the, the URL or IP address of the particular server. Change the address to SQL Server Authentication for the type. Put in your GoDaddy credentials and click Next. So again, for local installs, I'm going to select my computer slash cache footprint. You may also have your computer slash SQL Express. Click Next. And instead of creating a new database, we're going to use an existing database. So select the use, use existing database option. Highlight the database that you've created. 
And if you're on GoDaddy, you'll see yours listed here as well. Click Next. Uh, actually, if you're on GoDaddy, you'll see yours as well as every other database that's on that server. So you'll they are sorted alphabetically, so just find yours, highlight it, and then click Next. This is just telling you all the different objects that are going to be released to that particular database. If this is an existing database that you have been using in the past for Cache Footprint, this is going to overwrite everything. So if you need to save any data, make sure you have done a backup first. For new folks that run into that create database error, you're still on the right track, you're doing fine. Just go ahead and click next and then finish slash start deployment. This will deploy all the objects to the database. So it's going to put all the tables and all the stored procedures, uh, which are queries that are going to be used to add data and, and look up data in the database. Deployment complete, click OK. And then you can click close. Now that we've created our database and deployed the objects, we need to connect Cache Footprint to it. So click on your Start menu, go to All Programs or All Apps, find Cache Footprint Point of Sale, click on Change Server Connection, and then click the Ellipsis button to the right of the server name. Cache Footprint will search for all of the servers on the local network. Highlight your computer slash cache footprint or your computer slash SQL Express and click OK. For those folks that are using a remote server, type in the server address here and then the, the database name. You can use Windows Authentication if you are doing a local installation, if you're using GoDaddy select SQL Server Authentication, put in your credentials. I'm going to use Windows Authentication and then click Connect. You should see Server Connection Configuration Changed. That means that you are good to go and you can go ahead and open Cache Footprint. It's going to update the database if needed and then bring you to the user login screen just as you're seeing here. The default username is Manager and the password is Password. Once you're logged in, you can change those credentials. I'm going to click on Start Evaluation. You can change the credentials by going to Manage, Employees, Employees again, and then highlight the Security tab for the Manager account. Highlight the account, click Edit, and then just enter in a new password if you want to change it. Also, I recommend using the password hint. That will make sure that because you did change it from the default, that you don't forget what it is. And if you do forget, then you can click on the hint icon and the login screen and that will show your hint. That's it for creating the Cache Footprint database manually. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email at product.support at lothill.com or give us a call at 855-LOTHILL. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.